Hello, welcome back to my channel, Renelicious Tea. It is so good for you guys to be here today. One more time. Today, I am here with uh, another idea. I did not know that I did, I've never done oxtail on camera. I've done it for my daughter quite a few times, but it seems as if I've never done it for you guys. Well, I am not the best on cooking like oxtail and those things, but I'm going to show you what I do. I'm sure this is how everybody cook oxtail. So I'm going to be making brown stew oxtail today. So hopefully that you guys like my idea and how I do it. So stay tuned and see what I come up with. Okay, here I have my oxtail. It was previously frozen, but for me, I normally um, season my meat before I freeze them. So I'm just gonna refresh my seasoning on it. I have some all-purpose seasoning and I'll be adding that to it. Not much, as I said, I've already seasoned my oxtail already. And here I have some oxtail seasoning and I'll be pouring that on. And then I will be just pouring on some browning on this so that it has the color that we need. Over here I have my skillet. <coughs> Sorry, the season is getting into my nostrils. I have I have my skillet with my oil and I'm gonna preheat it so that it can get going. And I'm gonna rub this up so it takes the browning on it. So when we frying it, that it has that brown color that we're looking for. So I, I put one of my plastic gloves on and I'm just gonna rub this in. Remember that as I said that I have already pre-seasoned this before, so I'm just putting the browning on it for it to for for color. Rub this up. Okay. And this is basically what we're looking for. There it is. So now my skillet is hot and I'm going to turn my flame down and I'm going to start adding my oxtail in there. I want to make sure that <laughs> all of these fit in because I don't want to do it twice like brown these twice I don't well it seems as if I have to do that because my skillet is tiny but I'm trying not to you want your oxtail to catch to catch a little color. Okay, there we go. So all of mine fit in there. All right, so we're just gonna leave that, let it brown. We're gonna brown it on both sides before we actually put them in the pressure pot. So we're just gonna leave that there Okay, now I'm going to flip these so you guys can see. Look at that. Beautiful.
Okay. All right, this looks good. All right, it's browning beautifully. So now I'm gonna take my oxtail out of the oil because I think it's all brown for me. I don't want them to burn because I don't want my oxtail to be dry. So this is brown enough for me. So I'm just gonna take these out. Then I'm gonna put them in my pressure pot for like 45 minutes so that these can be nice and tender. So that's what they look like. So that's what they look like after I brown them in the oil for, I don't know, for like, I would say five minutes or 10 minutes on each side. So stay tuned and see what I do next. So now I will be adding my oxtail in my pressure pan. So I'm just gonna put these in here. And I have a piece of fresh ginger and I'm just gonna put this in my oxtail for flavor. I'm gonna put that in there, add some water I'm going to tell you how much water. We don't need a lot of water because we still need to do gravy. So we're just going to pour that in there. So it covers it a little bit. So at the moment it's saying I'm going to pour six cups of water. And that should be enough to. Okay. So we're just going to leave it like that. And we're going to. Pressure this for like 45, I'm going to pressure it for 45 minutes and see because I want my bones to be tender and my meat to be falling off the bone. So we're going to pressure this and then we'll come back and then we'll take it another step and see where we go from there. Stay tuned. So welcome back. Welcome back. It's 45 minutes and my oxtail is finished pressuring. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like after pressuring so that is my oxtail in there and i've finished pressured it and it's now ready to be i'm gonna be saucing it up a little bit so this is what the next step i'll be doing so while it was pressuring i actually went ahead and i chopped some onions some peppers there's some potatoes, little baby potatoes in there, stewed potatoes that we're going to use. And there's some garlic and some peppers. So basically, that's what we're going to be using. So I'm just going to pour these in my pot so that these I can extract the flavors from there. I'm just going to pour everything in there, my potatoes and all. So just gonna pour that in. Okay. So we're just extracting the flavors. So this is like you're just starting to cook your oxtail over. So we're just going to throw our oxtail in there, our oxtail. I just want to show you guys the texture. See, it's like falling off the bone already. This was my ginger that I put in there. We still need it. I 
and that water that we use from the pressuring we will be adding it to our oxtail so we still need the water I must say if you have carrots you can add carrots to this Okay, now I'll be adding like a cup, the cup of water to this. As I said, I'm using the, the water that I used to pressure it. That's the same water I'm just gonna use to make up a stew. And here you can actually um, re-season your ag still. So here you can actually go back in and add some more seasoning. This is where you actually try how much salt is in there. So I'm just going to do this. All right. This could do with some more salt. So I'll be adding some more salt to this. I'm just going to spice it up. I'm going to add my pepper and every little thing to this right now. I'm going to bring you a little closer so you guys can see what the finished dish looks like. So this is what it looks like and everything is all boiled down to gravy and I'm going to plate this so that you guys can see. So stay tuned and see what, how I plate this. So this is what my oxtail looks like. I have went ahead and I garnished my plate. I didn't serve this up with anything at the moment, um, but you, got, you guys know Jamaican people everybody know that oxtail goes well with rice and peas and whatever you would like to serve this up with it's fine so this is what my finished dish looks like so that's my oxtail up close and personal so that is it for me today so if this menu or if this recipe helped you in any way possible I just wanted to drop some comment down there below or just like my video comment subscribe to my channel become a part of my family and see when and where I post videos and my comments and everything my thoughts going through the day and going through these times i just want to say this is venilicious tea thank you so much for watching until next time thank you